Hey, I'm back for another one. This is time to prepare. We are prepping for our um, deprogramming and reprogramming sessions that we will be having. The first one is going to be <clears throat> on Tuesday, but I don't know when you're going to see this. But the first one will be on Tuesday. I'm not sure what the focus of the first one will be, but I'll definitely let you know before we get started. So do the homework for each area that that we discussed I discussed it in the last video okay so one of the things that we have to be mindful of when it's time to um, solidify our reprogramming of our subconscious mind and to make sure that we don't inadvertently program some more bullshit in there um, one of the things that we should do is be obedient we have higher selves I don't know if you all knew this but you have more than one higher self we have higher selves um, we have ancestors guides angels we have deities that work with us and we have source creator that works with us okay um, we have elements that can work with us if we ask them to um, we have archangels that will work with us if we ask them to we we have so much at our disposal and what they will give you guidance you will hear guidance you've got to learn how to be in tune with your guidance um if you get a reading let's say you do a reading with me and i share with you some guidance from your team your collective you need to be obedient you know um when you go against the guidance that you've received you have free will you can go against the guidance but oftentimes when I go against the guidance that I receive and when I see other people go against the guidance that they receive that may have come through me, they always come back and say, yeah, now I see why I was told I shouldn't do that. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I quickly see. And I see so quickly that... I pretty much follow the guidance that I receive, you know, and, and I will tell people I'm very adamant. And if they try to steer me in a different direction, I'm like, mm -hmm, I hear you, but no, I'm not doing that. And so I want you to get to the point where you can hear for yourself. And if you cannot hear for yourself, I want you to make sure that you are connected with someone who can assist you in your clear knowing, in your clairvoyance, your clear audience, your clear sentience. You need to get with a good program, a good person, a good group or whatever. Like we have a group, you know what I mean? Um, but you don't have to be a part of my group. There are many, there are many people out there that are good. Um, I have I have paid way more than people in my group pay me um, to receive guidance, but I'm here for a different reason, you know, but I have paid for guidance. And oftentimes when I would seek guidance from my spiritual advisors, they would be telling me things that I already knew, but it was more like confirmation of what I already heard. So I would hear things and I wasn't at the point yet where I was confident in what I was hearing you know now you know I'm confident in what I'm hearing so you don't I don't go paying for readings and stuff like that anymore I don't need to spend thousands of dollars a year um, having spiritual coaches and and guides and things of that nature I don't have to do that anymore um, because I am at that point where I am clear about it you know plus I'm very um, particular about who I allow in my space I don't allow many people to do healing work on me unless I know who you are and I can vet you and I can you know I, I have to read you before I let you read me or do a healing on me there's too much that I know now you know about darker forces that you know I'm not allowing any old body in my space because it is true if you invite the darkness in you have invited the darkness in just like the movies where they welcome the beast through the front door you know they say don't invite the vampires in or whatever you know you invite them in you have invited them in you know so if you have invited people in and or if you're not sure 
<laughs> if you've invited people in, you need to uninvite them and, and close those doors so that they no longer have access to your space, <laughs> to your to your being. But anyway, I know I'm going all over the place. <laughs> But as things come to me, I am sharing them because it's really important that you know all of these things. So get with someone. If you're not confident in your knowing, in, in what you hear, and knowing that it's coming from wherever it's coming from, that's coming from Source Creator, that it's coming from um, a deity that you are aware of, you know, um, whether it's coming from an angel that you are aware of. And there are angels that are high vibrational and there are angels that are, I, I shouldn't even say high vibrational. There are angels, like if you want to say light and dark, because I know here we deal with duality and we always say light and dark, even though it may not be that cut and dry, but there are the same amount of light angels there are dark ones okay so just because you're dealing with angels does not mean that it is from the light but you can get good from both sides so it just depends on who you want to deal with who you want to work with um what uh what do you want to pay for for what you're doing you know so, you know, I, I choose to not dip into the lower vibrational sides. That's how I put it, okay? I choose to not go there and deal with that side of things. Um, the What we would call the darker side or whatever. But, um, but you can get the same things from both sides. So that's why you see people who we might think are more nefarious and they are very prosperous because... You can get the same stuff. So you have to be careful of where you are seeking your guidance. Make sure that you um, get some help, though, because this is a journey to clear knowing, to knowing all your clairs, being on point with your clairs. It's a journey, and it's, it's nicer to go on that journey with some help. So, so... And the goddess ice is coming we definitely have help here for you if if you want to be here with us and uh, but there are other places there are other groups that you know you but use your discernment and and follow your intuitive lead if you feel you don't feel so good about it you feel it in your gut um I don't know if you have a question like I don't know that's usually your answer whenever I have said I don't know the answer was no. Um, should I do this? I don't know if I should do this. The answer was no. That was, I was responding to what I was being told. I was already being told. But because sometimes you may have so many voices in your head, because you got your mind, your subconscious mind, you got you got what your mama used to say, what your daddy used to say, what your friends say, what your teachers say, what everybody says. And then you don't know what the hell you're hearing. You're hearing all this stuff. You don't know what you're hearing, right? So you have to clear all that stuff away, like clearing away cobwebs and, and to to get to who you are it's like peeling away an onion with my recipe for prosperity program that's what we do we peel away the onion so you can get down to the core that is you and that's where you begin so with that program you you peel away and then you get started you know what i mean but anyway y'all i'm going on and on i will see y'all in the next one